The battle over no-knock warrants now goes to the Ohio State House. Ohio's Attorney General says he wants to reserve what he calls, quote, a public safety tool. It comes as some Cincinnati City Council members try to ban no-knock warrants in the city. Local 12's Walter Smith Randolph is live at Cincinnati Police Headquarters tonight with a look at this fight. Walter, good evening. Good evening, Megan and Kyle. The calls to ban no-knock warrants here in the city of Cincinnati come after the shooting death of Breonna Taylor in Louisville. Now, some city council members want to ban these type of warrants in Cincinnati, but the Hamilton County prosecutor and the attorney general say they're still needed. So now they're calling for a compromise. To knock or not, that's the latest public safety battle as the calls to ban no-knock warrants grow louder. Chris Hilbach is leading the charge in Cincinnati. Louisville is my hometown. I followed this from the very beginning. Uh, and I've on my time on council, I've stuck up for those who don't have a fair shot. And Brianna Taylor does not deserve to be dead. She deserves to be alive. Brianna Taylor was shot and killed by police at the Louisville Metro PD served a no knock warrant. However, police did knock that day. Either way, Sealbox says CPD should limit its use, which is why he's asking the city manager to ban no knock warrants in Cincinnati. A lot of people have a, 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 a gun beside their bed and they're going to protect their family. That puts the officers at risk. Officers have been killed in no-knock warrants. It puts the citizens at risk because the officers are going to fire back. But Ohio's attorney general says no-knock warrants are another tool police departments need. The no-knock is designed for those rare occasions when there's a serious um, problem, a serious issue of officer safety, where if you knock on the door and say police, they might answer the door with a burst of automatic weapons fire. Yost has sent this letter to the governor asking for his support in getting Ohio's no-knock law revised. Yost wants to raise the standards for the warrants, including requiring officers wear body cameras, have probable cause, and have identifiable markings while also banning the warrants for misdemeanor drug cases. Also signing that letter, Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters. CPD and the sheriff's office are very, very rarely asking for this type of a warrant to be served. And if and when they do, it has gone through multiple reviews uh, at the city level for sure. Even, you know, one case is too many uh, if it costs the life of an officer or a civilian. Now, because of the city charter, only the city manager can ban these type of warrants. Chris Silbach tells me he believes the city manager will get behind this move. We're live at District 1 tonight. Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. Megan and Kyle. All right, Walter, thank you so much. We should note here that Louisville has banned no-knock warrants, and a bill has been proposed in the Kentucky General Assembly to do the same across the Commonwealth.